No. It is our first full day here in Florida and I just picked up the camera here finally now it's like almost probably 3 30 or something like that in the afternoon the kids were up bright and early we went out we did that whole long beach walk this is Pensacola Beach Florida um, and so we just did this long beach walk all the way down to the pier then walked back anyway we were tired when we were done with that everybody was tired everyone was just ready to just kind of veg out for a little bit so we just had just like a fantastic okay. day. Maria did tons and, and tons Peter. of shell collecting. That's all mine. Found a lot oh. of shells. Mine are on the Richard deck. Jackson, okay. Dry, drying. They're probably dry, but we found lots of shells. Mm hmm Really pretty shells. Mm -hmm. So many pretty ones. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of fun. The kids will fill up their bucket and it gets so heavy. We're like, all right, you're going to have to dump the bucket, pick out your favorites, and then we'd keep walking. And then they'd pick up even more shells, and then it would get too heavy. They'd dump the bucket, and we just kind of keep doing that. Anyway, I'm sure throughout the week they are going to, I don't know, find some better ones. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe you got all the ones that you want. But guess what we're going to do now? We are heading to Walmart for a Walmart pickup because we need some groceries. We stopped at just a little small Walmart in Gulf Breeze. It's just like mainly a grocery store. We stopped there yesterday before we got here just to pick up some eggs, some bacon, you know, for breakfast this morning and some grapes and things like that. But now we actually want to pick up some food. So we are going to head there. What are you doing? I have a marshmallow in my mouth. A marshmallow. And um, 
What else are we gonna do? We're gonna walk down the uh, pier. Oh yeah, yep, we're gonna head to the pier, mm -hmm. Gulf Pier, and is that what it's called? No, it's called Pen sure. Pensacola Beach Pier. I don't know what it's called, wow. but anyway, we're gonna do that. Oh, we're gonna go to the souvenir shop. Maria has some dreams of getting uh, postcards. So let's go. All right. So kudos to the Gulf Breeze Walmart Super Center. My they goodness. They have it figured out. We pulled up. They were out in what, like 45 seconds probably, loaded our stuff, and that was the end. That was perfect. I mean, we have never in, when do they start Walmart pickup? In maybe 2020 or up by us? Something like that. Anyway, woo, sunny. We have never experienced Walmart pickup like that. So that was awesome. Yep. And Gulf Breeze is very long. It's very long. Very long. I thought they'd run out of island. I know. Yeah, all I day. I thought they were gonna run out of space to keep on a driving, but you just keep going and going yeah, and going. Yeah, well, that's right. Well, but that's I right. Guess, well, I know. Well. I just want to give you guys a little look at what vacation food looks like for us. So um, tonight I'm going to make some spaghetti. Just picked up this Prego meat sauce, which Warren requested. He said this is all he bought when he was in college. So I was like, let's, let's do it. Some spaghetti, some meatballs, and then a Caesar salad kit. So the salad kits are really nice on vacation because then you don't have to uh, buy a separate bottle of dressing. So that is tonight's supper. Then we are going to have a meal... I don't know when. We'll have burgers and about the buns and some ketchup and mustard. There is a grill here. <laughs> Peter loves me. Yes, Joe. Never just I mean camera. There. I am showing the beef burgers that we're gonna be having. And then I also picked up the sunflower bacon crunch for that night's supper. And then another supper that we'll have are some chicken chicken wings. So these are those just like ice glazed, individually frozen. They already have them separated. The tips are gone. And we're, I'm just gonna brush these with a little bit of, maybe I'll save like some of my bacon grease and I'll just brush these with a little bit of oil, salt and pepper them. There's salt and pepper here at the house and that that's gonna be at that. And then I did buy some corn on the cob, which doesn't look fantastic, but I just thought, I don't know, just was something a little different. We also picked up a couple bags of chips. So we bought some Funyuns. Those are um, Warren's favorite when I'm One in labor. When I'm in labor, okay. right? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Yes. <laughs> and then, that up. oh, that's all right. Good memories. And then Sun Chips. Also picked up some butter and some cuties, a lime, and look at that, 100% cranberry juice, unsweetened. So couldn't, couldn't be without that for a week.
real nice for church this morning. You're bringing your water bottle in? You don't need that, Joe. We're gonna try out a little restaurant here. It's called Cafe Bistro. I don't know. Mmm, I'm looking forward to it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It said that there was, um, it says some of the best right. breakfast on Pensacola Beach. So we'll see what they, we'll see what we think At about the end, this we're place. Gonna rate it one to ten. We're gonna rate it? Yeah. All right, well, let's go in and check it out. So Cafe Bistro, we're done. What'd you guys think? Everybody give your meal a, a rating. Dad starts. Yeah, dad's uh, gonna start. It wasn't great, no. <laughs> How about you kids? Mine was pretty it, good. It was filling, but good. I gave it a four. A four out of 10? Wow, how about you, Joe? <laughs> I'm gonna lose Sam. Oh, well, Sam's not with us, we didn't lose him. <laughs> what did you think of your meal, Joe? Um, no. You ate every single no bit meals. of it. No meals. Same again. It's gone. Okay. Well, Joe ate all of his food. Actually, his looked probably the best of everybody's. I thought I got the shrimp and grits. I would give it. Um, actually, it was really good. I didn't eat all the grits though. I don't know. I guess I'd give it a six probably. Just because I know how expensive it was, that's really where my mind is going. Yeah, because I could have, if it was less expensive, I could have given it a higher rating. Me too. It was very expensive. It was very expensive. The steak and eggs, the steak was very gristly. Yeah. It so, anyway. Not good. But we're all full, I think. Oh, yeah. Now we're we all full. <laughs> now, off to the beach. <laughs> that's perfect. That's for you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Peter. Nope. Those are pretty shiny. Maria and I, we got matching, well not really matching, matching in color, but we both got little Florida anklets. And mine has turtles on it, and mom's has a pearl. Mm -hmm. Peter, nice anklet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna give you guys a tour of our place. We are staying at, this is called Starboard Village. We stayed, he, not in this exact number. Don't tell them that they're in the house. Fame's come over here and they knock it on our door. This isn't gonna go up on YouTube until we're home. Oh. <laughs> so, we did stay in the same complex when we were here in January of 2018. We were just in a different um, condo, so anyway, the great thing about this place is that you get an unencumbered view of the Gulf. One on this floor and the floor upstairs. All right, well, let's take them for a walk. So you walk in the door. And then right over here, there's a little hallway with a bathroom. The bathroom here. And then... Simple bathroom. Yeah, and then... Like Maria, how about if you tell us upstairs, Peter tells us downstairs. And then you walk over here. There's a kitchen with pantry and everything. Nice big kitchen. Everything has been here, so a Keurig with Keurig cups, a regular coffee pot. We picked up coffee just because we wanted to have black silk, but they did have, or there is coffee up there too. Dishwasher, the pods are included. They have paper towels here already. All of these drawers are filled with dishes and bowls with lids and I mean so much. And we have, there hasn't been anything that we've been without so far, which is really nice because but then there's this real nice counter here. Mm -hmm. And then we have this little bench right here from yeah. taking off your shoes or something. This is just a locked area. I would imagine there's maybe personal storage in there or maybe a furnace or something like that. Room Mm hmm Dining table, and then we have the living room. So we have two couches, two chairs. There's a whole fireplace thing with like a sign thing and a TV. 
And there's a bunch of games. There's a little table. Full of games over there. Yep. Full and, of games. And over there. Two. You're going to open it for us, Maria? Maria, mm -hmm. two. Tons of games. A lot of DVDs. Full of games over here as well. And then the best part of the store. And out here, we got a beautiful view of the beach. Beautiful view. It's just a super sunny day today. There's some nice chairs here at the table. And then these nice. We got some nice, chairs. yep, the relaxing Adirondack chairs. And it is just a gorgeous view. We don't have any building in front of us, so as soon as you walk out, you get to see the Gulf. Which. Here the, uh, oh, here comes the Coast Guard. Or Beach Patrol? What do they call yeah, it, Peter? Beach Patrol or something. So, yeah, they fly over, and. I don't know if they're watching just for people who have gotten in trouble or if they're looking for sharks or I don't know but they fly over every day yesterday was about the same time just kind of watching what's going on I think one of these couches is actually a pull-out couch so somebody yeah. could sleep it's downstairs because these wow. can come out yeah nice that's pull the pull-out couch. couch okay mm -hmm. it's too bright. and then you if you walk back to the door you go up these stairs. At the head of the stairs is a big bedroom. Mm -hmm. This is the master bedroom. And in there, you can open up our curtains. Again, with another big balcony. There's a big balcony. Step out. Nice balcony. There's two chairs there. So, like, Blankets, extra table, and a swimsuit drying rack. And there is a bathroom mm -hmm. and a shower. Over here, there is a closet. It's got towels, laundry basket, bedding, and then another closet with washer and dryer. And it was nice. Already there's some laundry soap here and some dryer sheets available, so it's really great. I mean, I, I still overpacked, but for the kids, it's really nice. Um, we've just been throwing in one load of laundry each day, and, you know, so they didn't have to bring a ton of stuff along, which is great. This is... In this, there's another I'll stand big, back, Maria. Yep, yeah, okay. another big room, and if you come in here, there's... A single bed, Joe's bed. Joe sleeps there, yeah. And then a big double bed, and Peter sleep here. A bathroom. Baskets of books for the kids. They've mm -hmm. been having fun at night, uh -huh. looking through and reading books. There is another bathroom with another big shower. Mm -hmm. This has been nice. The kids have their own bathroom, so they can keep all their stuff in here. Mm -hmm. And then there's this big mirror, which is also a closet. And there's like a dresser. This is my pillow. And then there is... Oh, you brought that pillow from home? Yeah. Oh, we have to remember that we don't yeah. We don't want to forget that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's a... What is that called? An ironing board. An ironing board. Some more extra pillows. Lots like of extra. Yep. And even more games up in that corner. <laughs> a fan. And some like a pack and play, baby gate, baby toy, baby seat, and baby like bath seat. Mm hmm. A bunch of baby stuff. Yep, a bunch of baby stuff in case someone had, was bringing an infant here. Mm hmm. That's pretty much the whole place. Yeah, so that's it. So that is the place. And the this is just, it is just such a nice place. We have driven, you know, of course, like the different roads through Pensacola Beach. And I have to say that this is one of, 
well, according to us, this is the best spot on the beach. Even this morning, we walked west this morning, and when you get down a, like so far on the beach, it gets real broken up shelly instead of the just pure white sand. It gets real shelly and kind of a little bit more sharp and everything. So, I mean, this is just like pristine the perfect place and we just randomly found this place when we came in 2018 we had we didn't even know anything about Pen pensacola beach i i just thought pensacola beach was just a spot i didn't even know it was actually the name of a town um and we were just like let's go to florida and it was the north on the north side of florida it was the closest place to get to from wisconsin and we just randomly picked a place and it just turned out great and this is our second time back and we love it. So, all right, we are all gonna get ready to go to the beach now, which means lots of sunscreen. <laughs> and I'm just trying to go. Why can't I go? You're like, why can't I go? This is not a song. Skipper, huh? It doesn't work. This is. Mar Maria still needs some? Yeah, do you think you getting all the bikes aired up here so that we can go get some ice cream. Can I, can I, I'm just gonna ride Whoa, Maria. She said hers were fine, but I don't know, they look a little squatty. Keep going, Maria. Today we don't have our rip tide current or a rip current warning anymore. And the gulf definitely looks different. The rollers, you know, the waves are only splashing right at the beach rather than the last three days they've been like splashing over um, farther out. It's definitely not the weekend anymore. The beach is a lot less busy. Holy cow, does this place get busy over the weekend. Peter's looking for, I think he calls them, what do you call those again? Sand fleas? He's looking for something called a sand flea. At least that's what a gentleman told us. Or at least another gentleman called them sand fleas. I'm in, Mom. Yep, I'm in. Ooh, it's chilly. Not quite as sunny today. It's supposed to get sunnier though. Woo! <laughs> That's gold. What'd you catch? I'm gonna look. Oh, you got one. It went right into the sand right there. There, right there. There it is, there it is. 
Where is it? Right there. That's, oh. yep, they go right into the sand as fast as. That, right there, that little yep. creature there. Do I have it in here? I don't know if I captured it on film. As fast as we see them, they just hey, like burrow. Here. Do ya? Bring it up here where we're not in such wet sand. Go into the dry sand so we can see it a little bit better. There it is. Right there, that. Let's see if I can get it to move. Doesn't really right there move. Oh, it's running <laughs> towards me. Right there it runs. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can use that as bait. Well, let's take them back to the water. Peter was sure that he saw some schools of tuna. So, like silver, silver skinned or silver sided, I don't know what he called them, but anyway. So he's giving, his, giving it his all to see if he can catch a fish in Florida. Nice. got done with Chick-fil-A, I think. Peter, did we decide that was your first time at Chick-fil-A? Yeah. And what did you think? Uh, I liked it. Peter liked it. Maria thought that actually Culver's was better. <laughs> I, I liked say, it. Yeah, it was good, but I think Culver's was better. So, all right, we just pulled aside or pulled over, I think, this is what they call the sound side, or maybe is this Pensacola Bay, or is this no, Bay. is this Escambia Bay then? I think so. Okay, I'm not exactly sure without looking at the map, but anyway, we pulled over here. There's like a big jungle gym here, and the kids wanted to play on that, and the water is just so different. Over here, you don't get, at least not today anyway, there, we're not getting like those waves, like over <laughs> off the Gulf. Tonight for supper here, what we're gonna do is have just kind of like an oven fried chicken like I do at home, except I'm not coating these in any kind of flour. I have a couple pans over here with some butter. I'm gonna get that melting in the oven. I'm going to put these um, like chicken wing pieces. This is four pounds. I'm gonna put them skin side down, split between the two pans and then salt and pepper them. There's also some Old Bay seasoning here and I'm thinking that I'm gonna use some of this. I have to check the date on here. Okay, this is August 30th of 23. So I think on some of them, I'm going to do some of this Old Bay seasoning. I think this is what was on my shrimp when I had shrimp and grits and it was so delicious. So um, at least the seasoning part of it was very, very good. So that's kind of the plan here for tonight, 400 degrees. So we're gonna get the oven set here to 400 degrees and probably bake these for at least 20 to 30 minutes per side. Is there anything better than playing Clue on the beach? Nothing. Nothing's better, <laughs> unless you were to win, huh? Maria's bummed because Peter keeps winning on Clue. You know what? I think it's you have a better chance of winning Maria if there's more people playing. So maybe I'll play around with you guys because okay. then it's different. You know, when you show a card, you're showing it to Peter. 
But when there's three people and you show a card, you just still show it to one person. So the other person still doesn't know what card was shown. So it's a little more challenging that way. So it's our last full day in Florida and it is a hot one. Hot, hot, hot and humid. Of course I love it. <laughs> so we're gonna get the bikes ready to go again, go for a ride. We're gonna head down Fort Pickens Road, like farther out of town, see how far the trail goes and then... I don't know how far we're gonna go, but we're gonna go out of town rather than going into town. You know, it's going to be less busy out this way than going that way. So anyway, we're going to do that, and then we thought we'd go to the pool. When we come back, we haven't used the pool yet. We've always just gone down by the Gulf. It's not over yet. It's, it's not, not over. about leaving yet. Yep, yep, we're not leaving yet. But this morning, Warren did ask me, he's like, hey, can you check with the weather and what uh, the news is going back, what the news is like back home? So we're, we're getting there, though. We're inching towards home. <laughs> go down Fort Pickens Road it quickly becomes like less inhabited on the on the Gulf side still a lot of looks like I don't know if those are full houses or there's like multiple condos in one I, I have no idea but anyway looks like a brand new one going up there whoa Joseph Wow, is that cool? Just white sand everywhere, as far as you can see. Pelican up there. I got it. today. This is the last full day of our vacation. Tomorrow we have to head home. Everybody wanted to experience the pool. Mama is in perfect form, enjoying her tube. What's up Pete? Alright. Are you jumping, Joe? Yes, sir. Belly flop. Good job. Eight and a half feet of water. I heard you.
were ordering a tiny yeah. When you and mom were ordering, a tiny bird flew in and landed on top of the crab Ooh, we're yeah. gonna try some Cajun shrimp. Are they spicy, Joe? No. Very hot. Right there. Yeah, I already found it. Ooh. I found Colorado. There's Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? Uh huh. Food in a pail. Everywhere you go, right, Maria? Mm hmm. Food in a pail. With the Rice Krispie treat. What's that about? You can write it right there. No car. No cars. Where's everybody else? Write ah, your name right there. Or oh, right here. There you go. Oh, sign your name, bud. You want to sign it right there? Yes. All right. I don't see why not, right? Oh, he's got to sign it on top of someone. <laughs> I don't think it matters. I'm sure they take this down every now and again. Cool. Here. Hey. morning this is truly truly our last morning here in uh, Pensacola Beach and we're just packing everything up trying to put the place back in order we actually kept it in pretty good order I would say but you know you have to like gather the garbages you have to run the dishwasher one last time it's so great because there's a washer and dryer so I was able to do one last load of laundry before we go home it's so nice to take clean laundry home that's one thing I found on vacations when we have a rental I love it if we can find one with a washer and dryer. I mean, not if we're gonna be there for just a couple days, but if we're gonna be there for, you know, four or five days, it's really, really nice to have that uh, option. I have just a few things I need to kind of, we need to get in order. The, the checkout agreement asks for us to put um, the furniture back and we have to swivel the chairs back. We need to fold up these blankets. Looks like we've got a bath towel we need to take care of and then just organize this. They had this looking all pretty but you know, we've sifted through all the books and all of that, but yeah, this was just a great place. Binoculars, that was so helpful to have. We were able to look out at all the different birds. What are you looking for, honey? Hairband. Your hairband bag? I think you took it back upstairs, didn't you? It's pretty calm waters today. I mean, look at that. It's taking a little while even to see a wave roll in. There we go, there's a wave rolling in finally. That one wasn't even very much, was it? <laughs> so super calm, super calm, comparatively speaking to the other days. Yesterday it was so windy, so, so windy. But we're gonna take one more walk on the beach here this morning after we kind of get everything packed up and then we are on our way. Peter saw a Bass Pro Shop. Um, we think it was in Alabama, right off the right off the highway someplace. So we do want to stop at Bass Pro Shop because, of course, he's never been to one of those, and so he's pretty pumped about pumped up for that because number one, they partner with Dude Perfect often, so he sees um, the Dude Perfect guys talk about <laughs> Bass Pro Shop, and then also all the different hunting and fishing and trapping, all those different um, like styles of videos that he likes to watch. He always sees them partner with Bass Pro Shop too. So we're gonna check that out. <sighs> and then it's just gonna be back, back to reality, back to cold. Warren said yesterday he was a little concerned about me uh, falling into a deep depression. Whoops, I have some stuff I need to grab. Sorry I'm spinning you guys around, but I need to grab a few things to put up in my bag here. 
Okay, this I emptied out. I can put that away. The priest on Sunday, he was pretty funny. He was talking about, uh, to all the visitors, he had made some comment about us overpacking. And he said, it's not, did you overpack? It's how much did you overpack? And he's not wrong. I brought a hoodie and I brought all kinds of things thinking that I was going to need. Like, I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be cold at night. We're gonna go outside. I'm gonna want a jacket because it's gonna cool off. No, no. Well, good morning, Joe. Michael, good morning, guys. Yeah, good morning. What do you got here? Are these clean or dirty clothes? Mine. Those look like your clean clothes. Clean and dirty. And that's dirty? Yes. Really? Okay, you need to, you can't, oh goodness, okay. Joe, we need to get you some stuff for the overnight, in your overnight bag. Did you pack an overnight bag, Peter? Yeah, it's downstairs. You already have that with swim trunks for the hotel. Not swim trunks. You're gonna want swim trunks. Yeah, because they're waiting for this to go. Oh, I see. A pair of swim trunks in there. Oh, okay, I see. All right, well, it looks like we don't have a hitch, so no boats. No boats. Come on. How excited are you, Peter? Yeah, you look here. excited. Peter's never been here and I've never been here. I've you never ever been here? I don't think I've ever been to a Bass Pro Shop. I don't think yes, so. didn't we go to one down in Chicago once? I don't think Joe's ever been to one. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Have you ever been to a... Joe! Oh my gosh, Joe, you are not bringing pillow. your pillow inside. This isn't the hotel, honey. This is the Bass Pro Shop. What? Should I buy some fudge? You're going to buy fudge? Maybe. Dude Perfect says it's so great. Dude Perfect says it's good? I uh -huh. made it. Hmm. Like, they know everything, and I'm don't go they? Buy some fudge. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that, Ty? <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, Joseph, stop. Well, they played this segment. I spy Ty, and Ty dresses up in like camel. Yeah. Go somewhere and like hides to look like a mannequin. Yeah. And the first one to find him gets fudge, <laughs> and then the last to find him has gets to, an extra name in the hat for and a real has to buy the winner fudge. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what'd you find, Joe? I get 30 cents. 30 cents you think that's going to cost? Yes. Um, let's see. Let's look over here. I don't know how much. Maybe on the bottom it says it's $40. I get 40. I don't know if you have $40, honey. I get 40. Such adorable stuffed animals. What did you guys think of Bass Pro Shops? I liked it. <laughs> there was a glass elevator. And on your way down, you saw an alligator. We found the fudge, too. All right. It's good. It's yeah, starting to get cooler. And it's awesome because I'm so hot. You're so hot. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a Florida when we girl? we came here last time, it was so huh? windy. But You're not a Florida girl? It, you don't like the hot? Well, yeah, last time we were here it was stormy. That's so sweaty. No, it wasn't You're sweaty a too. It was a full hurricane. Well, we're back to Bucky's. Still thinking about maybe moving here to be a car wash manager for $125,000 a year. I'm gonna buy it. Are you thinking about it? <laughs> what are you getting today, Peter? Uh, I'm just getting Joe what he wanted for right now, but that fell on the floor. What I'm getting is the wild watermelon for you you're getting wild watermelon what yeah. did joe want dr, dr. Pepper. pepper dr pepper okay and what did you get maria i did the wild watermelon with a little bit of raspberry on top oh you're mixing it up whoa mm. 
This is what I would get if I was getting one. Blue raspberry. Yum. Or maybe pina colada. That sounds good too. Where did we make it to? Well, we made it to the other side of Nashville and yeah. we're at Pedro's having some chips and salsa and it's nachos. Delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness. How are the nachos? Good. Hot? Hot. <laughs> Do you get to make it? Yep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Those are super hot, huh? Look at me. I know. I see you, Joe. I see Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning. It's the last leg of the Good trip morning, starting guys. up. And we are leaving Pleasant View, Tennessee. We're going to drive all the way home. We think it's going to take us about... Ten what do we hours. say about 10 hours? I'm trying to clean this up so it's not was that, that good. with the stop? Was that no. no, no. Straight is a, a little over 10 hours. So we're thinking actually probably gonna take us about 11 hours. Yep. It's eight o'clock right now. So seven o'clock, we'll be home. And guess what? We're setting up at home for about six inches. Six inches six of snow. Six inches of snow starting tonight into tomorrow or in, or into Saturday. What did it say? Into Saturday. Into Saturday. So Welcome home. <laughs> Wear up the snowplow. I guess so. Well, we are getting closer, like four-ish hours from home, and the snow is starting, so. Snow. Yeah, snow. What do you think of that, Joe? What do you think of the snow? I don't think he can hear me. Nothing is sticking right now, but. The roads are starting to get wet. The roads, yep, they're starting to get wet. things just took a major turn here um, I mean we're all fine <laughs> but it is snowing so hard right now and just whiteout conditions that we had to pull over so as soon as we hit Wisconsin I mean it was already snowing in Illinois but as soon as we hit Wisconsin it's just snowing and blowing and it's getting worse and worse and worse we're actually north of um, uh, north of Portage and we had to pull over into a little small town here we're gonna fill up we're at half a tank of gas. We thought, let's just fill up. But you just cannot even see. Like, you feel like you're going backwards because you're going into the snow. Anyway, I don't know what we're going to do. But as Peter just said, he said it looks like everybody had the same idea. Did you mm -hmm. notice that? How the, off the, the gas station just filled up immediately. And here comes yet another person off of the interstate pulling a big trailer. So, I don't know what we're going to do. But we're just going to park here. We're just going to park. Well, we finally made it home. It is 10 o'clock. We pulled over. We sat for an hour and then just realized there was no way we could sit at a gas station until things cleared. So we just went slow. It was like 30 miles an hour all the way home on the interstate. Watch out so you don't slip on the interstate. And we are home <laughs> and it is so snowy and it is cold, but we're home and we are all so happy.